Welcome to a new edition of Canyons News. I'm Charlotte Peggy. Here's the latest from the Canyons Newsroom. With news from across the Santa Clarita Valley, this is Canyons News. Throughout quarantine, our pets were always there to help boost morale and keep us company. With more on how our four-legged pets were the saving graces of the pandemic, here's Holly Lausick. For most, it's been a rough year, feeling like forever. Luckily for some Santa Clarita locals at Central Park, the COVID-19 pandemic has been able to bring them closer together. Since COVID, we still have been coming every day, honestly. I did get to spend time a lot more with my dog, which is great, and I got to take him everywhere I go. According to a study by Kinship Partners in 2020, 84% of pet parents appreciated their pets during the pandemic. We've been working from home during the pandemic. Yeah, it's been an adjustment, making sure that she's safe, but still exposing her to as many dogs and people as possible. The benefit of working from home hasn't been overseen by these pet parents. We walk every single day. They are able to have more consistent, healthy lifestyles and time at the dog park. Well, walks around the neighborhood again and just bring her back into like normal stuff to do. After over a year of the pandemic, it's an understatement to say that people's lives have greatly changed. But there's one thing that remains constant, our connection with our pets. Reporting for Canyons News, I'm Holly Lozick. Although many events were canceled or postponed, this didn't stop the LA County from figuring out a way to host an event that helps improve our environment. Here's Eddie Rodriguez with more. This year's spring cleaning clutter reaches its final destination at College of the Canyons. A lot of people bring in a lot of old stuff, things they've been waiting on, wondering what they could do with it. So. Narcissa Palomino, along with other household hazardous waste collection employees, guide attendants to designated recycling areas. The expected turnout is over a thousand cars and project manager Diego Diaz is ready for it all. I'm only in charge of LA County. We have managers to do, do down south, like the OC area, uh, it's another manager up in um, like the Riverside County area. Materials are taken into consideration when separating them appropriately. The, the e-waste? gets thrown in like different trailers and they, they go get recycled. Um, all the other hazardous uh, waste stuff like the flambos, the toxin, all that stuff, that's taken by Clean Harbors. So some get incinerated, some get landfilled. Uh, you know, it kind of just varies. Some recycled too. So it, it just varies uh, based on whatever it's coated. Household items ranging from paint cans to old printers are accepted, but there are things to avoid turning in. Radioactive material, uh, ammunitions, explosives, uh, appliances, tires, dead cats, uh, bloody rags, um, anything like that, we don't accept it here. For more information on the e-waste collection dates, head to pw.lacounty.gov for a center near you. For Canyons News, I'm Eddie Rodriguez. A local 24-year-old business owner gives us more insight into her work that she started with only five years experience. Here's Carly Atkinson with more to tell. Certified lash check and cosmetologist Stephanie Garcia began her business three years ago. Since COVID hit, Garcia's business had slowed down a bit, but as things are going back to normal, her job is picking back up. Affecting my business and the aspect of being super careful. Um, if clients even felt like they had a runny nose, they were asked to reschedule. Um, and clients themselves didn't feel safe to come in, even though all the precautions were being met. Um, they just wanted to stay away from the most exposure as possible. She is taking precautions with her clients to ensure safety as she is based at home and her top priority is ensuring the comfort and safety of her clients. Temperatures were being taken at the beginning. Um, everything was always kept really clean in this kind of business. You cannot reuse anything. Um, everything is already disposable. The things that are not disposable are um, sanitized and um, wiped down with alcohol. As businesses were closing, clients still needed their cosmetic services done. Garcia was lucky enough to be one of the few to be able to keep her business running. I gained clients because I was one of the um, artists that was still open. Um, 
most of the time. I did have to stop at a certain point, but after that, I was open since day one when we were able to, so I got a lot of clients from that. The services that Garcia offers are lash extensions, face waxing, and makeup for special events. From Canyons News, I'm Carly Ockeson. The Stevenson Ranch Library opens its doors once again to what is now a new environment, but yet a safe one. Here's Katrin Gonzalez with more. The Stevenson Ranch Library opened just two days ago after being closed for a year. And although some things have changed, they still have many resources available. Community Library Manager Arpin Elian explains how it has been since reopening. Um, well, right now, because of COVID, you know, we just opened, so we don't have a lot of people that come inside the library, but we do have some, and it just depends. I mean, we have a capacity because of COVID, so now we cannot have more than 50 people in the library, overall, just including staff members. Although the library has only been open for 48 hours, a few students have already shown excitement to return. I have seen um, our former students that came in very enthusiastically to like, oh, you guys are just, you know, I, I found out you're open. But because our study rooms are not available to the public yet, so maybe that's why, but we haven't had as many yet. Study rooms may be closed, but students can still take advantage of the many resources the library has to offer. I mean, they can come back for free Wi-Fi, they can come back for books, they can come out, you know, we have a lot of, if they don't have a library card, they'll be able to get a library card. If um, they want to download a lot of our databases, we have BrainFuse, for example. And for anyone who's hesitant in visiting the library, they can be assured COVID precautions are being taken. With Canyons News, I'm Katherine Gonzalez. Once again, with Kenyans News, I'm Shrat Penny. Don't forget to follow us at Kenyans News on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.